Hello YouTube, I'm Slay Ersa, street photographer, musician. So a question I get asked a lot is, why do you do street photography? So this is a question I also like to ask myself from time to time, why the hell do I do street photography? So when I first started doing photography more seriously, I was no, I would never have dreamt that I'd be doing street photography. In fact, that was the farthest from my mind. Um, if you had told me back then, oh, you'd be doing street photography in a few years' time, you know, you'd be on the streets, shooting people, shooting over landscapes, this, that and the other, I'd have gone, bullshit. <laughs> um, yes, <yeah, so laughs> I was really into doing uh, landscapes and stuff, especially when I was living in Australia, and I went over to New Zealand, um, just the vistas, the mountains... So the landscapes were, were kind of the thing I was into. Nice, great, big, colourful photographs. Whereas now you'll see that... Whereas now it'd be sort of grittier, black and white urban landscapes and, and people and street photography and stuff. So street photography is not something that comes naturally to most people. It can be an acquired taste or an acquired skill, especially when it comes to street portraiture or pictures of people you don't know. So they don't like having their picture taken, they won't take pictures of other people. There's that whole sort of boundaries, Where's where do you draw a line? So it's, it's something that's quite difficult and it's a t type of photography that can be quite physical and quite draining. Um, well, so can landscape photography, but in a completely different way, of course. And it's totally a world away from scenic landscapes and stuff like studio portraiture and weddings and stuff like that. And you have to put yourself actually into the environment, into the situation, into the social situation, and be a candid observer. And it, or it's more along the lines of documenting, well, I suppose you could say all photography is in a way, because it is. But in terms of documenting the people's behaviour and the way they interact, their gestures, their thought processes, um, that's what street photography captures in terms of people. Uh, but in terms of landscapes, you can, you can do architecture, um, so London, for a great example, River Thames, anything along the South Bank and the architecture in the side, that sort of urban landscape stuff looks fantastic. I love street photography because I'm both extroverted and introverted. I can either be charismatic and very great with people or very stolen away and wanting to be left alone. So it's 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 quite the contrast. So sometimes when I go out and shoot, I'll go up to people all the time. Um, so I'll be taking counted shots, but I also go up to my hey, hey man, that's that vape smoke looks amazing against this backdrop ground, blah, blah, blah. Can I get you to do that again? And can I get a shot of it? And other times I'll just be like, I don't, I don't want to talk to anyone. I just want to get on with my project and get some photos. And then I'll go out there and I'll just be getting a lot of um, counted hip shots, um, passing shots, stuff like that. So when you're in one of those, or when I'm in one of those introverted moods, it can be very hard to get into the rhythm uh, people say the zone, I like to say the rhythm, I think that's just because I've got a musical background. So I find it a lot easier to get into a better rhythm when I'm positive, I'm upbeat, I might try and jazz things up and try and do a completely different shooting location and go, I'm just going to go here today or I'll wander off the beaten path, my normal haunts and, and sometimes I just find inspiration there and then that can pull me out of whatever dark space I'm in you know and firing off a few shots it tends to get you into that rhythm anyway so after you've certainly and, and if you're shooting film you already have to get into that frame of mind so if I'm not if I'm not 100% on it and I'm shooting film I will stop myself and not waste the film it's just not worth wasting film so the the kind of images I produce are quite Every everyone's personality is different. Everything that they see and do is different. I'm quite have quite a dark, cynical look on the world. <laughs> so that's my pictures tend to be quite dark and contrasty. Um, everything is uh, shot at sort of sixteen hundred ASA ISO eight hundred if it's fairly sunny. It's 
that's my kind of street photography. I like to shoot with wide angle lenses. I like to get in closer. And a lot of people, if they're introverted, don't tend to do that. They tend to have like a 70 to 100 or 55 to 200, etc. And sort of shoot from miles away and zoom in, which to me defeats the point of doing it. There's, um, I feel like I have to be in the situation, in what's happening. I have to be a part of that whole thing rather than being miles away and taking a shot because I feel that anyone can do that and not that you shouldn't do that if that's what you're comfortable doing and that's what you're very good at I mean there's bound to be people who are much better at that than I am but for me it's about wide angle lens that's why I think I love the the Ricoh because it's 28 equivalent and that's why I use a 28 on my OM1 and a 24 on my OM1 that's what gets the results I want yeah, the, the, the part of my creative side has always gone down, it's always been a bit darker, but with, um, say, a silver lining, a tinge of um, positivity, maybe. Yeah, you know, happy moments are just as important as dark ones or spontaneous ones. I suppose that comes back to the look of the, the photographs, is I like to leave all the gritty bits on the film and... And I think, I think someone on the forum once went really funny and said something like, Oh, I'm a musician, and um, so I don't have to worry about the crap on my photographs and stuff like that. I was like, hold on a second, <laughs> totally the wrong end of the stick. Experimental stuff is something I was always in tune to for music technology and and the sort of perfect imperfections and stuff like that, and that sort of come into my photography. So little things like specks on the film, I'll still um, pressure spray it, but stuff that markings and stuff that maybe some people if it's been developed and the, the finish is not fresh and stuff like that, I, I just leave it on there. It's, it's part of the aesthetic to me, you know, it's part of the natural, that's come through the natural process in the film. You don't get that on the digital stuff. <laughs> so to rein it in a little, oh, I love it because it's real. You know, it's a sea of people going about their chaotic lives around you, you're trying to draw it all in and the architecture and and that's just stood there for years a lot of it always gets ignored by people walking past it you know and the, the the markets and stuff where everyone's bunched in and they're huddled up like this and someone's here and you're just like <coughs> portrait they don't know your camera's on you're, you're squashed you're huddled up well they do know your camera's on and you're you're, you're sort of talking oh fucking hell this place is ridiculous blah 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 <laughs> and then you're laughing go <coughs> and then you, you have a little laugh about it sort of shared moments really so I want to leave you with a thought next time you're out on the streets or you're off on holiday and you're contemplating and observing things going on around you why not take the photograph and if you're not comfortable about taking the photograph ask yourself why so, for example, the reasons why I was really uncomfortable at first is I had that boundary where I thought, I, I hate my picture taken and taking photographs candidly of other people seems a bit strange to me at first, you know, not not comfortable. And then after a while you start to get a bit more confident and social and actually that's it helps you connect with people out and about you know it's important to um not always be introverted and to push yourself you know um a lot of it's fear people don't people are afraid of how people react more than anything else and i can say i've had way more positive reactions than negative I've only had a couple of negative reactions and they're not been that bad I've never been hit <laughs> that just doesn't really happen I'm not saying it's impossible it's just extremely unlikely and and this is the thing if you're shooting digital you can always delete the photograph always offer to delete the photograph if you're shooting film say I'm not going to use this exposure you know you don't have to it's not about being an ass. um there's a reason why you're doing it tell them why you're doing it and for me certainly in London it's building towards a project that I will be having coming out in about a year or so so that's why I choose street photography if you're looking at this video you've already do it when you're dabbling or you're thinking about getting into it so if you're thinking about getting into it just do it just go out there take a camera go with a buddy uh, it is easier with other people at first and then 
you start to find your own flow and your own feel and stuff, and then you can go off and do it yourself. Anyway, I'm Sly LSR. Subscribe. Have a good one.